Hello everybody, I'm Sarah and I'm a Ricardo Blair. So today I'm going to be chatting to you about the pros and cons of being a professional musician. Now maybe it's useful for you if you're thinking about pursuing a career in music or you're just a bit curious to know what it's like. I'm going to try and give you a balanced view. And I'm speaking from my own experience in the field of classical music, though I have a feeling that a lot of things I'm going to talk about today are going to apply to all different genres of music. And of course, I want to say as a starting point, I feel amazingly grateful and lucky that I get to do this as my job. Whew. But it's not all fun, so I want to give you just a bit of a realistic view. Let's get into it. For many of us musicians, we are super passionate about making music and the fact that we get to do this all day is just great. It's interesting, it's fun, it's creatively fulfilling. Basically, this is the big pro, we get to do it. And of all the cons I'm gonna speak about in this video, basically what it comes down to is at the end of the day, we get to make all of this music. And that's, I think for a lot of us, the big driving force. Con, your hobby becomes your job. With this comes obligations, responsibilities, the real world. You've got to do it every day, even if you don't feel like it. And I've seen this in a lot of people that this really sucks the fun out of making music. And in being a professional musician, you are actually running a small business with everything that comes with that, organization, administration, emails, taxes, PR, marketing, and this is a lot of work. So at the end of the day, being a pro musician isn't just about playing your instrument all day. I would say maybe 40% of my work is actually playing. The rest is all the other stuff that comes with it. Like me, I come with it, I go with it, our snaggy friend, he's a friendly snake. Where are you going now? Quick moment of interruption for John. So if you're going into music thinking, I can just spend 12 hours every day playing whatever I like, no. Pro, a career in music is extremely varied, which means it's always changing and developing, that keeps it interesting. There are so many fields you can get into. I personally do playing and performing, composing and arranging music, teaching and giving masterclasses and workshops, uh, writing about music and uh, making these videos. And there are a million more areas that you can go into from arts administration to composition to music therapy. This also means that every working week is going to look completely different. Last week for me was a bit of a special one. I was giving masterclasses in Germany, giving a concert in Denmark and having my normal teaching days and uh, rehearsals in Amsterdam. Sounds very fancy when you say it like that. Con, this can all very easily lead to a poor work-life balance. By which I mean, as a musician, it's very easy to end up walking all hours of the day, seven days a week, and suddenly you've gone months and you realise that you haven't had a single day off and that you're actually having a burnout. When running your business as a musician, there is so much that needs to be done on top of the actual playing, all of the organisation and administration. On top of this, we tend to be doing a lot of different projects at the same time. It's quite difficult to say no to things in the beginning when you're just starting out. So this means that you're spending all of your time working. And we tend not to notice this because we're doing what we love. But I see so many musicians having burnouts because like any other person, you have to have time off to rest. So if you want a nine to five lifestyle where you have every evening and two weekends free every week, this seems incredible to me, don't become a musician. Pro, you can get to travel a lot. Now this took a long time to build up, but I travel all over Europe and soon hopefully much more internationally for my work. I'm always really excited to visit a country that I've not been to yet and it does feel like an honour to be invited for something and to get to go there and work. Cons. Well, if you don't like travelling, then I guess that's a big no-no. Also, the idea of travelling for work is always, sounds a lot more glamorous than it actually is. I have played concerts where I've travelled 16 hours to get there, 
played and then traveled 16 hours back again and you just feel like a zombie. Also, when you're in that new place, you're not on holiday, you're there to work. Sometimes you end up seeing the plane, the hotel, the concert, the hotel and home again. Basically means a lot of early mornings, a lot of hours commuting in the car or in the train or in a plane. And I don't mean it to sound like, oh, hoo, 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 it's so hard, but it's not like flying in a private jet. I think that would be nice. The other con about a lot of travel is, is that it means you're spending a lot of time away from home. Now this wasn't something that actually bothered me at all until a few months ago when I had a baby and now it's more of a concern. And we figured out ways of dealing with this. I take the baby with me, that has worked, or she stays at home with her dad, that also works, but it's sometimes a bit hard. I miss her. <laughs> Pro. Working and studying in the music world is extremely international and you end up meeting and making friends with people from all over the world, all different backgrounds. What could possibly be a con about that? Well, you do have to say a lot of goodbyes. It's happened more times than I care to count in the past years that a very close friend has moved away either back to their home country or to a different country in order to work or study and it's just really sad. But you know, that's also life. I don't think that this is a factor that would have stopped me from becoming a musician. And it feels like now I'm only talking about the cons, but there are a couple more important ones that I need to mention. The first one, con, is that it's very, very uncertain. And I'm talking in a range of different ways. The first is that you are gonna have to deal with a huge amount of rejection, with not getting auditions, with applying for things that you don't get, and the main thing is sending a hundred emails and you might get two replies. And I'm not exaggerating here. In the beginning, when you're first starting out, you are gonna be sending out a whole bunch of stuff and getting nothing back. And in order to get through this, you need a really thick skin. A career in music can feel like a huge roller coaster. One day you will have gotten a grant or a big concert or some kind of award. And the next day you'll have gotten rejected for something that you really wanted and this happens all the time and you've just got to kind of live with it. Unfortunately in music it's not a profession where you can ascend to the next level by taking an exam or getting a qualification or just asking for a promotion. Um, it's not a linear career so it might be going up and down all the time. And this uncertainty brings me to a very important point in a music career and that is money. Con! You are not gonna get rich by becoming a classical musician, okay? There might be some rare cases where somebody breaks out and makes a whole load of money, but you're probably not gonna become a millionaire. The amount of work we do in exchange for the amount of money we get is absolutely shocking. Uh, if I actually worked out my rate per hour with everything I do, well, I'm not gonna do that because I would cry. The uncertainty can also make it difficult. One month you might earn like this, the next month you might earn like that. It means that you have to be very good at planning. And especially when you're starting out and establishing yourself, this financial uncertainty can be really, really stressful. I was very lucky to be starting out at a time uh, 12, 15 years ago where my rent was very cheap, my study costs were very cheap and I could support myself with a part-time job. The world looks different now and it's not easy to support yourself as a musician full-time. So let's try and summarise this. The cons are this is something that you will spend a huge amount of time working for in a pretty iffy work-life balance for not so much money um, but the pro is if it works for you it is the most amazing job in the world you're basically taking your passion and making it into your business i feel like i've painted quite a negative picture but i just want to be really realistic basically all of these cons for me are offset just by the joy i have when i'm doing my job for me that makes it all worth it. I hope this has given you a bit of a realistic picture so that you can really assess it. If you think about it and think, actually shit, no, that doesn't sound like it's for me. Also fine. 
And some of the happiest people I know are the people that have a different day job and just make music because they love it. This is also obviously not an exhaustive list and it's going to be different for every person. Maybe my con is your pro or maybe you are just in a different situation. So if you're a working musician, I would love to hear from you as well. Please share your experiences below. I'm going to sign off now because I've been talking for a while. But as always, uh, you can subscribe to my channel by clicking on my face down here in the corner. Over here, you can support a working musician by buying my album. My debut album is out in my web shop. Up here, I'm going to link to a video where I talk about what I actually do as a professional musician. What do I spend my time doing? Thanks for watching and have a good day. Bye!